Hi, wonderful viewers. Welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel again. It has been a quite long, long time since I uploaded my last video. Uh, today we are here at Yaldin Basic Cycle School for their eighth edition uh, graduation ceremony. So today you'll be seeing uh, different, different cultural dances, drama, poetry, and the likes. So stay tuned, and then we move on. So, but before we move on, try to subscribe if you don't. Click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of any video that I have uploaded in my YouTube channel. And then please stay tuned and enjoy the event. Boys, let me reserve myself. I thank you all, and I want to see this opportunity to thank everybody present here. Uh, before normal, following the normal protocol, it was as the speaker of the occasion, I have written a speech which has to deliver to the graduating students. But as a member of this institution, this noble institution, who have been here for some time, 
It will not be possible today. My heart is fully joy. And I don't know how to express it. If I turn right, I see my ex friend. If I turn back, I see my former colleague. If I turn left, I see my former parents and guidance of my former student in this school. So this moment is a grateful moment for me. And I thank all of you for the support. As Mr. Njaradi said, this school has started somewhere. When the school was only four nursery classroom with grade one. The present people, the present Bosa, I said the and Master the Kinte, Jamu Sumare, Momo Lani Sise, we are up on that nursery one classroom as their first grade one in early hours of 2005, September. So during that time, people like Mrs. Auntie Abi Chao, Mr. the late Mr. Kevo Conte, I must remember him, Mr. Baba Koma, the late Mr. Njai, all work honestly and to get the educator, the nursery staff, General Giacello, and all the service that we're at the moment, all put their hands together to work hard to make sure that the results we are having today the repeat. I'll not also forget defenders, Mr. Alamati Bonjai, Tabara Sise, Nene, and all other people who were coming out there both morning and afternoon to sell cheap food to the children who sometimes don't even come to work. I'm very, very delighted. I'm very happy to see this structure like this, to see this big building like this, to see the, the current project there, and to see the tree growing. When I was living in 2006, things were not here like this. But I'm really grateful. So for the purpose of this speech, I must follow up my speech I prepare. Without which, this alone is not enough for me. But I thank you all, and I thank all the people who have contributed immensely to the success of this school. I remember in those days, Tony and Karen, and other people from Campbell, were very, very committed. They come here with their resources, and they also work harder to make sure that this structure is built. This mighty structure was built within two years. The first structure was only one classroom. Later they had another classroom. It was built larger until the whole building was completed within the period of four years. So I thank everybody and the parents were also very, very committed at that time. The school started as a nursery. From there it was upgraded to a primary school. From there in 2012 it was upgraded to a junior secondary school. When we were about to upgrade this school into a junior school, people were talking a lot in the community. Some are saying some of the teachers are PTC holders. They're going to teach over basic. But the late Mr. Conte with Mr. Njai and the late Mr. Manjang and Mr. Ture and Mr. Tanso, just to name a few, also made that assurance, Mr. Sise, we can do it and we can prove it. And the first part of grade 9, all passed with flying colors with the highest aggregate of aggregate 9. And the second part, also all passed with the highest aggregate with aggregate 8. And the third part, that's why we started at the year 6 and at the year 7. So thank you all of you for the effort you have rendered to this school. I must say this, I must say this. This school has started somewhere, and those who don't know them, I think they just come one way. But as Sanguja rightly said, hard work goes with challenges. Before you achieve any success, you must be able to hard work well to see the fruit of your labor. May I avail myself to thank everybody in celebrating this wonderful occasion. Master of Ceremony, I am indeed really honored by the invitation to be the guest speaker of this personal ceremony of Master 4, Grade 6, and Grade 9 of this humble school, Yandin. I am grateful to the staff and school management for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts and gra with graduates on this auspicious occasion in the midst of renowned personalities and scholars within and outside Farad. First of all, congratulations to all of you, 2023 class of graduate. You should be very, very happy, be proud of yourself for accomplishing this journey. Well done, and I know you must all be excited to get your hands on your certificate and begin the next level of your educational career. For the families and friends of the graduate students, congratulations to you all. You should all know that you have supported through this process and made a huge impact. I am sure you are very proud of your graduates as they close this portion of their life 
and prepare the next step in their new level of educational career. Master of Ceremony, I would also like to thank the start of school management for handling and moulding this bright future of the Gambia during the period of their education at the LD, as well as the sacrifices, the determination that you have all contributed to make this day possible. Distinguished graduates, ladies and gentlemen, graduation day is a special day in the life of any student. It is the crowning moment of all hard work, frustration, anxiety undergo during the course. Today is a day of joy, particularly for you as you are graduating, but for your families, friends, and loved ones who have supported you along the way. Greatness can be seen even before it is manifested. I, I see before you graduate, full of smile, joy, and ambition. It is my hope that this joy is not merely premised upon acquiring a certificate or completing a level of education, but actually getting you set to achieve a higher certificate with greater magnitude. Distinguished audience, I say, Mr. Jay, congratulations and well done for staying in the course and finishing the race. You have earned a right to celebrate this moment of important achievement and by all means do so in moderation. There is no doubt that having come in this far, you have burned thousands of meter candles. You have helped obediently follow the instruction of your teachers to complete this level of education, which span from four years nursery education, six years primary education, and three years secondary education from this noble institution year again. This is the moment every parent would like to wish and cherish the grace to secure the better future of their children. As it is an investment they have put on you for their happiness as parents, but most importantly, contributing to the future, bright, bright future of you as students. We are all here to bid forever for you as you are leaving your deep over basic school for grade 9 and you will be in other senior secondary school in the next few months. And the university and the primary school graduate for your next step in the basic cycle school, which is coming faster. This has been a long journey, particularly suffering and not always fun, but certainly a fruitful and rewarding one. Distinguished graduate, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to use this moment to shine light on the theme of this year's graduation, which is the fight between the past and present will give us no future. The fight between the past and present will give us no future. I will first talk to the graduate. Graduates, always bear in mind, it is right at the beginning of a new, perhaps even more exciting and erratic journey that will lead you to the next step. Some of you will leave your dean to another level, but others will be in different schools. In any case, you will all walk through a new door for new challenges and opportunities. It is like that. It is difficult to tell what tomorrow may bring to you and all of us. How normality will look like in the near future. I do believe that you will encounter challenges and uncertainty, like it is inherent uncertain. This should not be obstacle, but rather an opportunity to be creative, innovative, and continue learning. Therefore, I encourage you all to use the positive education path lessons as foundation on your present positive educated lesson towards achieving a better future. But the opposite will lead us to the fight between the past and the present. For the students, you have for the nursery school, you have completed your four year graduate nursery education. For the primary school, six years of primary education. And for the junior secondary school, three years of junior secondary school education. During your three years of junior secondary school education, there are areas or subjects you treat well. There are subjects which you know that you are very, very good at. Use those subjects as a positive pass. There are areas which you know that you have not done well. Try to develop on those areas so that next in the present, in future, you can be a very good mathematician or English school student. For the parents and guardians present here, the fight between the past and present will give us no future, no peace, no progress in our children's education and development of this school. The aftermath of COVID-19, followed by Russia-Ukraine war, the world undergoes serious economic crisis, and the Gambia is not an exception in these hard times. Undertaking a child or children's education is a big responsibility. Four years ago, 
the cost of school fees at Yeldin were very, very low. But now, they are high. The school was fully sponsored by Gambu, that's Gambu people linking education, now called School Gambia. They were responsible for the building of the school, paying of staff salary, providing of teaching and learning material, providing of uniform for students, stationaries and pencil, all on free of charge. But the aftermath of COVID-19, most of the sponsors who are giving donations to Gambu, the sponsors were not coming. For that being the case, this the big responsibility, capital investment, which Gambu was undertaking, which was payment of staff salary, building of structures, providing of learning and teaching material, we are not, they were not able to do that. But therefore, the board of directors of, of the school, at that time, in consultation with the PTA executive of the school, had a meeting with a, had a PTA general meeting to increase the fees to a level to, meet, to make sure that they meet the learning costs of the school. Therefore, I, I encourage every parent to work amicably with the school management to reflect back on the positive part of the school. Let's remember five years ago, what was the fees of the school? They were very, very little. We, are, we as a parent, we are all enjoying that privilege. We are paying little school fees five, three years ago. Some of us were given uniform to our students, stationaries, and other learning material. But if that trend has changed, let us not blame the school authority. Instead, let's work amicably with the school authority to make permanent plan to make sure that we bear with current situation until we see ourselves out. So that the good name of this school, the bright name of this school, where we want to read, we can think they are together. For the staff of school management, always remember in your daily routine work that the Elgin belongs to the people of Farato and the surrounding community. It is not a profit making school, what you call private school, but it is a community based school. We just open the board to four, four children and children, three children. The family of four children and the family of three children all have the same opportunity to enter in this school. Let's work, let's see ourselves as important stakeholders that are entrusted with the future of many innocent children, many of whom may not necessarily know the value of quality education in this modern day and time. Let us be proud of what we are doing, whether we are teachers or we are part of the management. Until we see ourselves out, inshallah, one day we will also enjoy. But have this confidence in yourself as a student that by the end of the, my career, I should not also be able to prove something, you will surely prove it. Your future is in your hand. No one else sees the opportunity. Let me use this opportunity to thank everybody, Mafala Lala Baraka, on Jarama, Jerejet, for your kind attention. Celebrate this moment and look forward to what to come next. Thank you very much. I'm really honored and grateful to be part of the occasion today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.